I, I it's a great movie. I mentioned <laughs> Tom Hanks' performance, stellar. Yeah. I always had a problem with that movie. And that was Helen Hunt's character being one of the biggest piece of shit characters <laughs> in movie history, if you ask me. She's right up there with Bonnie from Toy Story 4. Yeah. Who's the ultimate, not on the surface shitty, because there's some characters that are obviously shitty. Mm-hmm. Scar from Lion King, any killer in a horror movie, clearly bad characters. I bring up Bonnie Hunt, or Helen Hunt. No relation to Bonnie Hunt, I believe. No. But I was thinking Bonnie from Toy Story 4, who, by the way, Bonnie Hunt does do a voice in Toy Story 4. I'm all over the place, everyone. I'm excited. Helen Hunt's character is Tom Hanks' wife. Now, listen, when you think your loved one has died, Mm -hmm. of course you're expected to move on at some point. For those of you who don't know, spoiler alert, (laughs) passed away. (laughs) She, when Tom Hanks finally gets back to shore, he's gone for four years, he finds Helen Hunt, you know, his beloved wife, the woman who kept him going when he was on some island, just clinging to life, <laughs> losing his shit, talking to a volleyball. No, he was becoming smarter, becoming more of the of the world. He was becoming very worldly, that's true. Yeah. And I do I do I did find it interesting that his hair got blonder. I wonder that. That's another tangent, but go ahead. I, I love this S- we were getting to. Save save that thought about the blonde thing, because I read another crazy thing recently. <laughs> It has to do with the sun. That's okay. what I want you to okay. help me. Re- help me remember the blonde thing. All right, he is. You know, he's, he becomes friends with Wilson the volleyball, and still one of the most heartbreaking scenes in any movie is when Wilson floats away. Uh, I still get so sad because that's like yeah. that's all he had. You know yep. what I mean? That's why I, I always get heartbroken when I hear about people being mean to homeless people. Or there was a story where some people took like a dog away from a homeless guy because they're like, you can't take care of this dog. I'm like, fuck that. The dog seemed happy with the homeless guy. They were managing. Don't take all, the only thing he has. Yeah. Anyway, that shit depresses me. And and in this, the movie, it depressed me. But then I'm thinking, all right, it's going to get back together with Helen Hunt. But no, she already married. And your point was, well, dude, I mean, she thought he was dead. And that's this is where you're a sweetheart of a guy. I was fine. I, you know what? I, I, I stood by that, and I wasn't going to be deterred from thinking that until you really broke down this timeline, which is just like a movie I've seen 30 times. Dude, you know and what? You've saying? almost ruined it. You've made it like a revenge movie now to me. This is though how fucked up my brain was. I used to be really like an insecure guy in the sense that I would joke with my now wife, like if you ever cheated on me, here's what would happen to you. you yeah, know, like yeah, yeah. crazy shit like that. Like you know, in the early days when we first started dating, like in high school, I had one buddy, one of my best, still a really good friend of mine, stood up in my wedding. My buddy Duffy. I'm sure he doesn't mind this shout out. He told me that he once told his now wife, who's been with, you know, since they've known each other since grade school, for God's sakes. He told her that if you were to ever cheat on me, I wouldn't do anything to you, but I would kill your entire family. Oh my God. That way, every time you thought about your dead family, no. you know it was because you were a no good whore. That's what he fucking would say to her, which was nuts. But no. it was also funny. Yeah. I mean, it's wrong. I mean, this yeah. was like 2002, 2003, everybody. You know, different times. Clearly, if he said that now, we would all tell her, you got to get out of that relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, so I, that movie, Castaway, came out around that time period. So I think I had that mentality when I saw it. So I know I'm doing a lot of talking here, but CJ, let me just break down the tweet for all Please, no, this is great. It, It changed my mind. Go ahead. I did the math on the four years he was gone. Now, he gets lost at sea. There's a search. There's a hopefully like a rescue attempt. They're looking for him. So they don't know. In my mind, I'm doing this from my point of view, though. Helen Hunt, clearly different. I give you one year to grieve. Not one year to grieve. One year to keep hope alive that he's still alive. <laughs> one hope in which you're like, no, I, I refuse to believe he's dead. He's somewhere. We need to... Yeah. I, I, I won't believe he's dead. Then by the end of that year, you come to grips, all right, he's dead. Now you get a year of grief where you're just like, I can't believe I lost my husband, the love of my life. At least. That's quick. It's, it's, a year is quick in the grief think, period. I 100% agree with you. So now we're two years in. Then you get a year to date around. Okay, you just get back out there. But even the first six months, you're like, I can't. This is just, and no dude wants to commit because it's like, yeah. do you want to follow the dude that didn't do anything wrong? He just died. <laughs> and died in a way there's no closure. Probably on the news. Probably like they know, everyone around knows who that guy is. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to follow that guy. So a lot of guys are going to be like, all right, I'm going to try to get in there have a little yep. fun and bounce you know doesn't work that way she ends up you know settling down and by year four 
when he gets back, she's already like happily married to the point where she's like, I can't leave this dude for you, even though you were great, we were great. There was no indication that their marriage sucked, right? Yeah. So in my brain, Helen Hunt should have been like, oh my God, you're back, the love of my life. Hey dude, I've known for a year and some change. Bye. Fucking bye. You'll get over it. You barely knew me. Why the fuck do we get married so soon? Uh, I know. Well, well, that's the thing is like, I wish it was a little bit longer to find that story out. And like, they made out. Obviously, it's a complicated situation. But I also, too, the, and I didn't watch Sex and the City. That's who that guy, uh, the dentist in Castaway. His other, his biggest role in life is um, Mr. Big on Sex yeah. and the City, right? Which, by the, did they call him Big because he was swinging some pipe? Did he have a big dick? Is that what they called I him I don't big? know, and, and I never remember it in my brain when I asked Megan or her friends. And I watched a little bit of Sex and the City, but like, I never knew if he was like a good guy or not. Yeah, like, what his, about, I'm like you. I've seen about 50 episodes of Sex and yeah. the City. I kind of enjoy it while I'm watching it. No, it's I, a great sitcom. Great. I never remember yeah. any parts of it, though, the next time I watch it, I feel like. Yeah. So I was like, by casting him, are you supposed to, in like his look, are you supposed to assume he's an asshole? And so you're always supposed to side with Tom Hanks in that? Well, you know what his other big role before that was? He was one of the cops on Law and Order Criminal Intent. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it was just regular Law and Order. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. He's like, he's a dude, he's kind of got like one of those, um, it's like a Baldwin physique. Yeah, yeah. Where you're like, you're not fat, but you're not like skinny. Yeah. And he's got like a big head, you know. I mean, he seems like a handsome man. He's got like that kind of old Hollywood character. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess when he was younger, he was probably a little bit more svelte and like. But yeah, as I, if I liked men, I don't think he would do it for me though. But like, I think people like Big, big or whatever, Mister Big. I, but do they like him in comparison to um, Sarah Michelle? No, what the fuck's her name? Sarah Jessica Parker's other dudes. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Is that why? You know? But no, but you're you're right, like um it, it's got to be a longer conversation. I think I just <laughs> that's what killed me about that movie because in my head I'm like they she should have just gotten back with him. She should have said to the new guy, "Look, I know this is insane and this sucks, but I thought he was dead." Yeah. Like, I got at least give me a month with the guy. We got to I don't know. I just uh, it it was heartbreaking that he, he gets back home, and now it's like, all right, what do I do next? Well, deliver this fucking package, I guess. Oh, wait, but with that woman, was there something with the woman, do you think? Um, they kind of give an indication that, so remember, he's at an intersection. Yeah. And there's different this, that, and then the woman who he talks to, it's like, oh, I tried to deliver your package. That's what's implied. I think they have, the idea is that he now has endless possibilities in his life. You know, he now has freedom. There's, di I could go down this road, that road. I could talk to her. Like, yeah. there's just, it's an, even though the life as he knew it is gone, you know, he, but he now lives to, like, a new horizon, I guess they're trying to tell you, like, but it's just weird for you as the viewer because you're, you put yourself in Tom Hanks' situation. What would I do? How would mm -hmm. I survive on this island doing all I can to get home to my wife? And to the life I had. Well, not wife yet, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. They weren't going to have the yet. conversation. That's that's right. It's, it's all... Right. Yeah, I mean, it, that's what makes it even more heartbreaking. It's just like, they weren't even there yet. And I guess that was a little bit of the credit they're giving Helen Hunt's character to move on. Because, like, in their eyes, in that converse, that last conversation, you're like, they're probably going to get married, right? And so she's prepping herself. It's time to settle down. And that's the only pro like check mark for me for her to like get married so quickly is that she knows her she is personally very ready um and maybe the questions going through her head as she was dating that dude was like i can't wait around for another guy <laughs> the last guy died in a plane crash you know so that's the only the only <sighs> with that timeline yeah. you've described is the only um reasoning for me yeah, to think that's you okay. make you make a good point. That's I forgot. I thought they were married for some reason. They didn't have any kids. She didn't have kids with the new guy, right? No. No. See, again, that's still enough where I'm like, let's get this shit annulled. I can't. I don't know. That's that's what kills me because there was no closure between them other than her just moving on to another guy. Yeah. But they kissed. So like, 
It was a good kiss. It was in the rain. <laughs> yeah, in the rain kiss. Tom Hanks, Helen Hunt. Like, those are the 90s romantic comedy feel-good movie characters, and they're kissing in the rain. We don't appreciate that movie enough. Yeah, no, uh, that was a great movie. I wish, if they were kissing, like, in the snow, it'd be like, yeah, fuck it. They, yeah. don't, they don't belong together. <laughs> the rain. Something about the rain. Yeah. Because the rain is like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to get wet for you. And then it's, water is sexual, I feel like. Cause, yeah. You know, water is the thing of life, right? We all need water. And you got dropped off by a cab, and, like, they, yeah, they sat in the Jeep. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that shit is, like, that's good. That's some good movie making. It really is.